putting down violence, defending this country, or you don't. Okay, so um, this video is going to be about silver and cryptos, believe it or not. More so silver. I haven't done a, a silver video, but I was listening to Mark Levin, and um, he's laying out some stuff I laid out. I talked about in a video about three days ago. Take a look at it. My very last video or live stream, I forget what it was. It was basically um, my vision of our future, I think the title was. And he's laying out the same thing, but he's laying out, Mark Levin's laying out, by the way, highly intelligent person, explains things in a way that the common person understands. Let me turn on some heat here. It's actually getting a little, getting a little bit nippy. He's laying out a vision of our future too. And not only is he bringing up things that I brought up about three days ago, he's bringing up stuff that is even more stringent and controlling than I even thought about. One thing is bank accounts. He's saying, what's to stop them from taking everything you have out of your bank account? Forget about confiscation of your, uh, of precious metals for now but what about the confiscation of your cash oh we deem it uh, we deem it that you don't require as much uh, cash as uh, you think you do we we found somebody else that might need it a little bit more than you do or perhaps you become enemy of the state because you spoke out in support of let's say the Constitution and it's uh, and what and its intentions can you imagine them turning off that spigot to your bank account you're an enemy of the state you're a domestic terrorist can you imagine that so because of this uh not only that i'm gonna get to the silver not only that this guy's saying stuff i've said they can limit your ability to travel don't like the state you're living in it's a little too uh it's a little too liberal yeah, you can't move. Sorry, no longer allowed to move without, uh, you know, licenses and permits and fa uh, fees. And he's laying it all out, folks. Take a look at that video I made. Anyway, because of this video and because of the bank accounts, uh, the what he's talking about the bank accounts. I always knew it. You know, uh, it, I was always. My primary stack, my primary investment's always been in precious metals. Always will be. I haven't talked about it much because how much can you speak about? How much can you talk about silver? Unless you do an open box every day, which I don't have that kind of money. However, um, I got into some cryptocurrencies and, and cryptocurrencies has made a lot of people a lot of money. And they're going to make people... Uh, they're going to make many people filthy rich and i just got some my only my only uh my only financial advice i'm going to give on this youtube channel uh actually let me let me rephrase that it's a uh, financial opinion if you ever strike it rich in anything i don't care if it's cryptocurrencies or the damn lottery you better get that money out of that bank account and transfer it into silver and gold. Okay? They can take and do whatever they want, tax you the way they want, change the rules, and you can see it. They don't even need to... That, that constitution is made for you and I to follow. You and I break it, we're in prison. We obviously seen today in the last, actually, month, constitution means zilch to them. It's just a, a way to control us. It, as far as I'm seeing, I mean, I believe in the Constitution. I wish everybody would honor it. But let's face it, the Constitution, unless everybody follows it, is null and void in a way. If, you, if, if government doesn't follow it and demands it on the people, what good is it for us is what I'm trying to say. Obviously, I respect it and I wish everybody would follow it. But my point is this, if they can if they can do what they've been doing and change the rules on a whim, stroke of a pen regardless, make up whatever they gotta make up as an excuse, what's to say they can't take all your money from your bank account? 
my advice is if you come into any kind of money, pay off your debt and get the rest of that money out. Put it into something more tangible like silver and gold. I mean, it's harder for them to take that from you, in my opinion. They'd have to come to your door, knocking on your door with guns. So, that's all I got to say. It's a shame the way things are going. Take care.